Hi there, in this video we're going to solve problems whereby we're going to calculate the in integration constant using values given to us and these values are values which are particular to the problem in order to find this integration constant C. So for the first example, example 1, given that dy over dx and that is x cubed plus x to the minus 3 and that y equals 4 and x equals 1 find in part a y in terms of x and in part b the value of y when x equals 2. So these values y equals 4 and x equals 1 these are the values that we're going to be using at a particular stage of the calculation in order to work out the value of the integration constant c. So let me show you how to solve an example such as this. So back to the paper and pen so we have dy over dx and it's given by x cubed plus x to the minus 3. In part a we need to find y in terms of x. So remember the idea, if you have dy over dx, to work out y you need to integrate. So to calculate y we're integrating dy over dx with respect to x. So we've been given dy over dx here in the problem. So we need to integrate our dy over dx, which is x cubed plus x to the minus 3 with respect to x. So remember the idea of integration. So add 1 to the power, divide by the result of adding 1 to the power. So if I integrate x cubed, adding 1 to the power, 3 plus 1 is 4. Divide by that result, 4 plus... When I integrate x to the minus 3, add 1 to the power, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Divide by that result, minus 2. And don't forget to add an integration constant c, because you're integrating, remember, an indefinite integral. So let's tidy this up. So y is equal to x to the power 4 divided by 4, plus and a minus is a minus. And x to the minus 2, I could write that as 1 over the 2 here, x squared, plus the c at the end. Now, we call a solution like this the general solution. So here is the general solution. So the solution containing the constant for this problem, we call that the general solution. And by using these values, y equals 4, x equals 1, we can calculate the value of this integration constant. So let's apply these values. So when y is equal to 4, x is equal to 1. So if I put these values into the general solution, y is replaced by 4. That is equal to x, which is replaced by 1, to the power 4, divided by 4 minus the 1 over 2 into x which is replaced by 1 squared plus the c at the end and if we multiply the brackets so on the left hand side we just have 4 1 to the 4 is 1 over 4 minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 squared is 2 plus the c and if I bring these two terms on the right hand side over to the left, C will then be 4 minus a quarter plus a half. So in this case, what we're going to have is for C, 4 minus a quarter plus a half. So I make that 17 over 4 in fraction form. So that is the value of our integration constant C. So finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the C in our general solution. So if I replace the C in the general solution by 17 over 4, we're going to have y is equal to, so a quarter x to the 4, minus 1 over 2x squared, so minus 1 over 2x squared, plus C, C being 17 over 4. 
So this solution with the C is called a general solution. However, the solution that we have is now what we call the particular solution. So once you calculated the value of the integration constant and replace the C in your general solution by that value for the constant, you get to this solution, which is regarded as the particular solution to the problem. So particular, general. So that should be the solution to part A only for example one. So back to the screenshot. So for part B, we need the value of Y when x is equal to 2. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So we need to calculate the y value when x equals 2. Now it's straightforward. All we need to do is replace the x's in our particular solution by the value of x which is 2. So let me copy this down. So y is 1 over 4 x to the 4. So y is a quarter x to the 4, minus 1 over 2 x squared plus 17 over 4. So minus 1 over 2 x squared plus 17 over 4. So if I replace x by 2 here, we're going to have y is equal to 1 over 4 x, which is replaced by 2 to the power 4, minus 1 over 2 x replaced by 2 to the power 2 plus the 17 over 4. So when calculating this you should have an answer of 65 over 8. So that should be the solution for y when x equals 2. So that completes example 1. So I have another example.